In August 2007, a group of American citizens, scientists, and explorers gathered on New Britain Island with the hope of entering and exploring an area unknown to Western science. In this remote part of Papua New Guinea, renowned for its high biodiversity, expectations were high as preparations were made for a month-long trek into the dense, humid bush. After provisions were acquired, a three-hour truck ride through oil palm plantations and past smoking volcanoes led to the village of Baikakea and the Hargi Plantation. On August 18th, after meeting guides and porters, the group of 28 men and women set out across the Hargi caldera. A brutal four-hour hike led to the shores of Lake Hargi, home for the next four weeks. My name is John Gavicini and I work for Hagi Oil Farm as a community development officer. No research study has been conducted in this area and much of the things you find here, maybe the orchids or, or the fish or uh, the rocks, or some of them will probably be new to, to environmentalists or geologists or um, the butterflies or the insects, uh, maybe they've never been documented because this is still virgin country. And that's the difference with Hagi Lake and the other lakes around in Papua New Guinea. It's, it, they've never been explored. Uh, my name is Ben Masori. I am the chairman of the Lenono company called Lamauru. This lake here was a, a tradition name for this lake is Lamo Auru. Lamauru simply means uh, a, a big mosquito. And why it was named Hagi? Hagi is Fred Hagi Shama's name. Why it was named Hagi? Because he was the man that fell from the air and the people from here saved. So he has the heart to save this uh, area. So on behalf of the, all my people, I'd like to, I appreciate that. And I'd like to say thanks very much for all the things that we have done so far till the end. Here we are, August 26th, in the middle of a volcanic caldera. Um, very exciting day. If you look over here, we have limestone in the middle of a volcanic caldera. It's very exciting. If you look up here, we're definitely in a bedrock section. So we're going to go upstream, see if we can map it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah.